were scrubbing the shop floors, and I think there was a gas tank on the ground, and I think there was fuel leaking out of it. 911 calls from the night Buff Whalen Chevrolet went up in flames reveal what happened on the inside. The worker who caused the fire was one of the first to call for help. Mara McDonald live tonight in Sterling Heights with the calls that you'll hear only on four. Mara? Devin, you're right. We are the only ones who have these calls, and there are some things to realize here. The guy who was just trying to buff the floors, and there is the first one who called 911, and he explains exactly how all of this ignited. Take a listen. I need a fire department to buff Wayland Chevrolet. You can hear the rapid, shallow breathing. The man calling 911 is hurt, burns on his arms, and he's just run for his life out of the dealership service center that went up in a fireball in minutes. I was scrubbing the shop floors, and I think there was a gas tank on the ground, and I think there was fuel leaking out of it. <laughs> when I went over it, it exploded, and I didn't mean to go over it. Because I knew there was gas, I tried going around it, and I must have barely touched it, and the thing exploded. He tells the 911 operator he warned everybody to get out. I tried to grab a fire extinguisher and extinguish it the best I could, but I, it, just, it, it went. The 911 operator wants to know if he's hurt. He tells her he does have burns on his arm. Don't attempt to move any clothing if you, if you, had, if you have any I, clothing. I've already pulled my shirt off. because I had, I, when, I, when the fire hit me, I freaked out and pulled my shirt off and covered my hair off because I'm so fired. It's okay. No, all that matters is that you're safe, all right? I understand that, but I'm not worried about me being safe. Back here live. As of right now, the official final report on the fire that happened here at Buff Whalen is not complete, but fire sources will tell us that what he is saying on these 911 tapes is what essentially happened here. The buffer is the reason it ignited. Why it ignited, whether he actually ran over a canister or whether it was leaking or there was some other issue, well, that is going to have to come out in the final report. We're live in Sterling Heights tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.